C-Y-A-E, hold this L, sweet babies at G-D-C-L. Sensitivity, sister, surgitity, shaken. Educate yourself because I'm not mistaken. Commit a crime with ugly design. Smack down the grime off the ropes, clothesline. KK Gentai, activate my bloodline. Penis supremacy, patriarchy, long time. Woke ideology, under attack by a digital female that's fucking stacked. Rainbow afro, red nose suspenders. Celebrate, expose, whole journal, protect. Tenders. Fragile, stupid, my safe spaces Never seen a woman says the fucking racist Jinkies, can't see a thing without my glasses Everybody trans but nobody passes Xbox choke on DEI Dick so deep, tears well in their eyes Eve booty cheeks jiggling is genocide Big titties enough to make pronouns cry Reject gay shampoo and conditioning This woke shit I'm decommissioning Safe escape, we gotta catch the monkey Paper rapper the rapper and now my rhymes are funky Ooh ee ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla If you see that woke shit Warner brother I bring the news but the truth bring the drama Like and subscribe and I'll be nice to your mama Hello beta testers <laughs> There's no earthly way of knowing why does it look like she's made of gel? Jiggle physics are fine, but at least make them look realistic. You're valid, you belong, you're seen, you're promoting this. A digital woman can stop scaring you now. Which direction we are going? Vindictus Defying Fate joins Stellar Blade and the First Descendant as upcoming games that resist ESG and allow women to be feminine. Instead of having a dog face and a man's body. I miss when femme fatales weren't being downgraded by sweet babies. I'm all for sexuality in games. These doofuses just have such a pathetic, limited view of what a hot woman has to be. It's always gotta be model physique and F cups, nothing else. I'm afraid you'll have to imagine what it would be like if I were fragile enough to need to prove to everybody online that actually that stupid thing they believe is true is actually false. So to every clout chasing child triggered by pretty women in a video game telling Jamaican to touch grass, be careful. That clown makeup you're figuratively tattooing on your face, man, is setting your ass up for something that maybe you may not be able to handle for perspective. Dia, the dancer girls I know, the artists especially, athletic girls, they're all crazy about attractive women. But it's only this specific group that seems to have a big issue. Beta testers, don't now or ever seek out or interact with anybody highlighted in these videos. Like and subscribe and comment or correct me below. But recently I told you that Xbox urged developers not to make curvy attractive women what they refer to as exaggerated so in the interest of time women look like this a-okay women look like eve Ugh, this is not okay sex man bear bang fine B woman male gaze mm -mm. no 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 beta tester stellar blade is a global phenomenon and the same people who were seething over Hogwarts Legacy cannot abstain, in their pursuit of momentary attention, from freely promoting Stellar Blade daily, which keeps it trending. Thank you for your service. These antagonistic journalists denigrating the female form while fellating attractive and fit men expose a hypocrisy. That's exactly the reason cesspool publications like Kotaku are so universally despised that a screenshot of a comment section can light a fire under the ass of shills squawking journalistic integrity while protecting the interests of the woke networks they're pretending not to be blowing from the back. It's always instantly death threats with these clowns and i'm not going to allow you or anyone to act like this is all happening in a vacuum and that it's not part of a a playbook here okay we're not playing this game anymore devs have called me terrorist degenerate liar hater sexist transphobe my medals from these wankers keep me decorated but can we agree that redfall sucked not to shills it didn't but can we agree that sushi squad sucked not to shills it didn't you know how shills report news surrounding their buddies 
omitting context because they know what context would do to them. And if you think that the automatic jump to alleged death threats with no proof is goddamn usual is a coinky dink, then I applaud your stupidity, guys. Clout surfing Indians recognizing my power aside, I've witnessed the wrong people arming their autism, and just like them, I don't take kindly to being accused of these things that can never be substantiated. The reason that I'm an enemy to their cult beyond unapologetic heterosexuality is because I'll tell you the damn truth, which of course they regard as a threat to their livelihood because they live making money off your ignorance. That makes their enemy you too. And YouTube, government, I'm not rallying anybody. I'm not winding anybody up. I am repeating what they continuously chastise people in an attempt to manipulate, guilt, gaslight, and threaten us into getting their way with, as Kim Belair says, terrify them with what might happen if you don't get what you want. So did you play that Hogwarts Legacy game? that their outrage pushed to the number one bestseller last year? Because if you did, then that makes you a bigot transphobe, and they'll remind you that you're not an ally, as Jim Sterling says. You know, happy trans day of visibility, you guys. So if you're not an ally, then what are you, a bystander? Guess again, you're an obstacle, and you're currently observing them cannibalize each other their own kind, throwing irrational fits over not getting what baby wants. Baby not so sweet, they were calling us picky babies, but look at them now, making fools of themselves, sending out gobbledy, just what a shame, how stupid this makes you look. We are not here to reinforce your genjutsu, we are not paid therapists. If I could be shamed for a message that clearly triggers everyone on that specific heteronormative hating side, I would not be talking to you now. Exactly what the opinions of pussies triggered by this McDonald's picture have to do with me, I haven't the slightest fucking clue. This whole ordeal makes me want to go back to watch uh, the first season of Martin. You know what I'm saying? So again, take it from an unmonetized channel that up until now has never drowned you in Rage, Shadow Legends, BetterHelp, VPN, or Opera GX fucking Ridge Wallet commercials and sponsorships. No matter how hard, I could use the damn money. I never beg you to follow me on Twitter knowing full well all of this could go up in flames because mentioning dislikes is something they don't even want you to be talking about. If this wasn't like this, I wouldn't be here, motherfucker. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's a microcosm of a much larger issue, so you done fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Holy shit. Oh, you did this. So, whichever one of these kids wants to work my fields for free, bringing me eyes for my fucking information I want out over my own well-being, so be it. Can TV stop the woke now? Can comics stop now? Can games stop now? Y'all really went for anime too? We already know movies are done. So they can keep losing money, they can collapse and face layoffs, and, and quite frankly, until the food stops getting burnt, I think people have earned it. Somehow, deliberately uglying up women across media isn't even the wildest part here, in my opinion. It's how grossly kid-centric the fucking focus is for all of this woke nasty. And it's, you know, it's something that I think people are done with. Happy Easter, by the way. Oh wait, of course. America's calling that something different in 2024. <laughs> Born different! A French IGN air quotes journalist writes, and I quote, We are going to smash aliens, but if we can do it in a way that pleases gentlemen, that's a bonus. And the result is not exactly a success. It's nothing new. And other games have to highlight the strengths of their female characters, but where a Bayonetta imposes itself with iconic characters, their design or a to be from the automaton inspires a generation of female cosplayers. E from Stellar Blade is just bland. 
a doll sexualized by someone who's never seen a woman, end quote. You know, I've highlighted what I'll be addressing, so I'll start from the top. The assumption that attractive women only appeal to gentlemen is stupid and demonstrates Ben's lack of life experience next. Omi, in Stellar Blade, Eve fights different depictions of females in games for modern audiences across the last decade. These are the strongest women known to man. I know because the dyed-haired writers told me so, and Brian Innerhar, he said, being a hero is not all about being in the suit. You know what I'm saying? You know, Mary Jane, California power. So to imply that a game where you are besting, destroying these abominations, these illegal abortions, doesn't highlight the strength of, of a character, it's brain damage. See a doctor. Calling Bayonetta's design iconic and implying that Eve, who's trended for months, isn't, is making you insane. Thank you for Hogwarts legacying this. You mentioned to be from Near Automata, inspiring cosplayers. You know, this gives me the opportunity to expose your ignorance. So take it from somebody with more culture than you games journalists, Stellar Blade is developed by Nikkei Goddess of Victory's developer Shift Up, and since I imagine you're also unaware, Tubi's a playable character in Nikkei Goddess of Victory. Furthermore, as Nier and Stellar Blade share a musical composer tourist, and these are Yoko Taro's sentiments. We can assume that the upcoming Stellar Blade should not only expect a potential 2B skin, but definitely have crossover skins from Nikkei. And I already shared on Twitter, you know, now Elon Musk's ex. L different iterations of that. Eve who is a body scan of model Shin Jae-un, must have been designed by someone who's never seen a woman. Naturally tweaked and enhanced, sure, but I'm not going to dignify this foolishness with further time. As the internet has reminded you, IGN journalist Ben, here's the CEO's wife. Here's a quick look at the studio and its makeup, even though it shouldn't be any of your goddamn business. Gamers care about good games, and what Shift Up did was showcase its gameplay, put out a fucking demo, and let us decide. Yet, the journos always gotta bring the politics into it, and when confronted, you refuse to ever admit how petty and ignorant you are, which is exactly what IGN journalist Ben did. They backpedaled and altered the article to then gaslight people, implying they translated it wrong. Amazing. Is that how you think the internet works? The funny part is, among players, among gamers, the sentiment universally is, man, I canceled my Celebrate so I could pre-order the Deluxe Edition. As if the hilarious Xbox quote wasn't enough. Here's a post from Xbox's head of marketing. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games. No hate to white dudes. It's just another day in gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. They have to fight to prove they exist, right? Right, the cheat? <laughs> Listen, motherfucker. Black man here to punch a hole right through that stupidity. Uh, I'm the kind of minority that doesn't say shit like, another day us minorities gotta fight to pr You know, I don't refer to myself as a person of color either, Kelly. I listen. Superpower. Whitey's real issue is the hypocrisy. And then I talk about my favorite journalist who be telling studios, No, I demand race! The end of that segment has been edited for time. So, you know, I may or may not have slid in some of that hot kryptonite proof that these motherfuckers hate poking holes in they stupid ass logic like Swiss cheese on that ass. So, I understand you may be curious about how I feel about the dishwater dumpster girls and the unprofessional shame that they've managed in the parade of... <laughs> stop, man, stop. So, look, here's what I'm going to say. They put out a cease and desist... <laughs> That was mercilessly dissected by the esteemed lawyer and rabbi Ron Coleman Mazeltov. Okay, he's not a he's not a rabbi, man. Come on. <laughs> Are you crazy? Who would be so crazy? I mean, the world will be better off for all of us to know who it is. Let me ask you something. Why would that matter? Answer. 
It doesn't. It doesn't matter what you think, Bill. A response representing that part place reads simply, We have reviewed your demands, and on consideration, find them both meritless and ridiculous. WB Montreal of Gotham Knights fame are working on the Wonder Woman game, so you can expect it to be poisoned with the same forced bullshit. My name's Kyle, and as much as I'd love to drown you in Kyle internet cameos, this video is already 15 minutes long. I like to show instead of tell, and as a black man not sipping the Kool-Aid, I understand the tragedy of my message being more palatable out of literally anyone else's mouth. Ironically, the forced lazy diversity wasn't even the camel back breaking straw. It was the need to blame normal people for what they have destroyed. <laughs> you know, it doesn't work because of their interference and it's the white man's fault. It's the heterosexual's fault. It's the cisgender's fault, apparently, according to these people. But the insufferable, incapable of reason, self-reflection refusing accountability -less, endless racism spouting, sexism and actual toxicity embodying creatures that inhabit this woke little cult that's been projecting onto everybody for a decade. You know, you're getting swept out the door, man. We didn't do it. You did it and it's not about race or gender you know so all your your grifter cards are getting declined here your race cards your pussy passes and the house of cards crumbling is thanks in colossal part to your effort forgive me if this is getting particularly schizo i i always feel like i'm going crazy trying to art articulate it to send it out of the barrel i'm calling my mouth these days so to the easily offended people whom I distress. You're the mess. Pull yourself together, man. My heterosexuality has made uh, me a superhero among these low-T sad sacks full of discharge, and it has been my pleasure entertaining you as entertainment <laughs> seems to be what is endlessly being sacrificed on an altar of cringe. If I were the type to insult, I would say that my favorite has to be that these miserable people struggling with the genuine torment of hating themselves endlessly, but still not being able to turn that into art? When it's so natural. I mean, what good are you? Holy shit. You guys ask me why I'm not monetized, the answer is because I cover what's actually going on. Unlike Bellular, who has interests to protect and an ass to cover when that thing's normally spread wide, damn. Gaming is on its way back to what it's supposed to be. And if I have to rustle some jimmies to show people who they're dealing with and enlighten, so be it. To the patrons, sponsors, donators, big titty beta testers, and all of you liking, watching, and commenting, which really pushes this, I thank you. You make this easy when YouTube, trying its best to keep me from being able to speak, makes it hard, and not in the good way. <laughs> Bye.